This review is for the Webental Digital Angle Finder. I've already taken it out of the box here. Um, what you get is the angle finder itself in a little Cordura type bag with a little belt loop. I don't know that I'll ever use that belt loop, but it's okay. Um, it's quite small, so you would need to have a small belt. Uh, and then you get the charging cable, which is a USB to USB-C. Uh, any charging adapter to power adapter that you use for a phone, you can plug this in to charge this, or you can plug it into a laptop. The cable that I use for my Android phone also has a USB-C that can also be used to charge this. Um, taking it out of the package, it is an aluminum case on the outside here. <clears throat> um, I have put a few small scratches in it. I don't know if you'll see that in the camera. Uh, attaching it to my bandsaw, I've, I've used it on both. Or on my bandsaw, my table saw, my miter saw and my drill press uh, to align the blades to the table. Um, it's worked well for that stuff. There are a few scratches you might see here. This is in the plastic film that covers the screen. I won't take it off until it's so scratched up that it doesn't do me any good, but I'll leave that on there for now, just in case it'll help protect the, the screen. It has two lasers on either side. Um, by pressing, short pressing the on button, I'll show you that in a second. Um, that's how you turn them on. You can turn one on each one individually and then have both of them on and then completely off. It comes with a little instruction manual. It's just three pages long. It's good enough to show you how to set the thing up. It does talk about how to recalibrate the thing, but you'll need a, a flat piece of marble that you could probably get at some kind of a stone supplier. Um, sure that they can supply something that would allow you to do that. It looks fairly easy to do um i'm not sure that i'll ever i'll ever have to do that but we'll see on the back of the unit you have this little rubber cover that protects the usb-c uh inlet for the power and then you can press that back in it, it stays in there pretty secure and should keep dust and stuff like that out of the connector which is good then turning it on you can see, you can sit it on the table. When you turn it on, it's it's already calibrated to absolute level. So when you turn it on, that's what it's reading from. My table is probably slightly off. It's it's pretty good. Uh, it took me quite a bit of time. And then what we'll do is I'll show you sitting it against this thing here. You can see it's it's well, you can't actually see that. It's pretty spot on. Uh, the problem is that at that angle, the screen makes it difficult to see but you can see from this angle that it's it's spot on um there is definitely something with the polarization of the led screen that when you turn it that direction makes it difficult to see not just on the camera but to my to my eyes as well but this direction it's fine um you just have to figure out how to work with that but you can see that at that angle it's it's difficult to see and then I'll show you this side here, and that looks to be a slightly off. I don't know if it's the square or this device, but this device has done pretty well for me. Um, with everything I've used it for so far, I will have it out in my shop constantly for my table saw for sure, uh, and the miter saw. My band saw should stay on, and, and the drill press should stay on. I don't normally adjust the table on those, so every once in a while I'll check them, but... Um, this should be fine. Um, I wish I had one of these earlier. I've been looking at them quite a bit online and never really been able to settle on anything. Uh, when I seen this one on the vine, I decided to give it a try and, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I'll show you the lasers as well. So you would turn the unit on, you short press the power button and you'll get the first laser here. I try not to shoot myself in the eye and then if you short press the button again it turns the opposite side on and that side's off and short press it the third time and now you have both sides are on and the fourth time it turns both of them off and you're back to level you have a zero button here and then you have this hold button which will hold whatever the measurement is no matter what the the change is uh, and then you can press and hold it and it will give you the tilt percentage and you can see up here it'll change the percentage instead of degrees and basically 45 degrees winds up being the 100 percent um you can see it's close 
I don't know. Maybe this squares off. I don't. I have no idea. But it's close. Um, that's a hundred percent. And then once you get over that, it it will go back and reset to zero. So I'm not exactly sure what that would be used for. I'm sure I'll figure that out at some point. Um, but it's definitely a handy thing to have around with a table saw. Trying to use this to align the blade to is is not very easy. I've done it up to this point, but um, this makes it much, much easier to do. And I'll keep it in the shop for that. The case for it is not padded. It does have like a, a soft felt liner on the inside that will keep the thing from getting scratched. And, you know, with these little, um, I don't know what the hell, gussets or whatever they would be called, um, that'll kind of help it if it gets dropped. But I wouldn't want to drop this thing, um, any of these things. Uh, to knock them out of out of calibration. Uh, I wish the cable went inside the bag, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Like I said, the cable is a pretty standard USB to USB-C cable. You get them with all the Android phones. A lot of different things come with that style cable and the little power adapter. Um, so there's, there's plenty of options on getting that thing charged. Uh, I like it. I would definitely recommend it for other people. The magnets on this thing are solid. They hold to everything. Uh, even my smaller bandsaw blades, it sticks right to it without any issue. Definitely no issues with the saw blades and the, the drill press. Um, that's all I have to say. Hope this helps. Thank you.